Now, if you've been around the block with us for a time, you know how I adore me some shrooms. And to my delight, they've actually gotten some love over the years to add to that. Thing is, though, I think a major component of them has seemingly been left behind. Mushroom planters. So I've been asking myself this lately. If the one way to truly farm my favorite fungi is no longer fun and efficient compared to some other freshly introduced foodies, should mushrooms get a rework of sorts? And to be honest, even I am not totally convinced about the potential there. I mean, maybe Clay could look into having the craft considering how accessible farming and bananas and stone fruit are nowadays, but what you see here really isn't that bad. Living logs are super easy to amass nowadays. But then I start to remember how mushroom planters do and don't work, which also happens to change my mind a bit. For you see, while it is as easy as planting a shroom and or spore of your choice into these planters, only to wait a measly and respectable three days overall in order to walk away with either four mushrooms in total for the former, or six for the latter, meaning we're gonna net three to five shrooms per planter mind, moon shrooms are without any love in this regard. Now I get it. The moon content doesn't really mess with magic nonsense, but come on now. These living logs are technically dead, and moon shrooms themselves are incredible, so why limit our access to them with the one thing that could be giving us access to them outside of the lunar grotto if we players do so choose? Yeah, that has always irked me ever since moon shrooms were introduced over two years ago, believe it or not, and I'm calling for a solution now, be it a new planter or not. But another downside that should be looked at again, I think, is a mushroom planter harvest limitations. Four picks, and they're done, with the only remedy being additional living logs, which just turns the whole shebang into an upkeep problem, which is also likely turning people away from using planters in the first place. Up the harvest to six to seven to match some recent resources like banana bushes, and I think we'll have ourselves a deal. But before we do leave, one last note considering how this is still a guide after all. Come winter, we will not have long until all of our planters all rot, so we best plan accordingly, most notably by continuing to plant in the caves as even though it's probably colder down here, it is still nice and dark and dank enough for mushrooms to grow all year round. Make notes. Well, you'll have to thank me later, as that's gonna do it for us here today, everyone. That was everything you needed to know about mushroom planters, alongside a simple question from yours truly. So do you tell me, do mushroom planters need a refresh? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, wishes to all, shroom shroom, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.